from Westfield State University, The Parliament with Megan Lucier. Tonight's event is Dealing with Dave, featuring Drew's News Update, and Kelly's Corner, Doty Fresh, and Whip City Sports. And now, here's your host, Megan Lucier. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another riveting episode of The Parliament. Tonight's show, Tonight's show features Dealing with Dave, Fantasy Football Talk with Whip City Sports, Kelly's Corner, Drew's News, and more. But before we get to all that, the real entertainment of the night is me, talking about everybody's favorite meal, dinner. Dinner is probably one of my favorite meals. I mean, breakfast is up there, but dinner was by far the best growing up. I see some pondering faces out in the audience as to why dinner is my favorite meal. And of course, the obvious answer was because my mom always made my dinner for me. Then I went to college to the dining commons, made my dinner for me. Then senior year hit me like a Mack truck and I was faced with the reality that I didn't have a meal plan to get my dinner. Instead, I now have to make dinner on my own. And if anybody knows me, I can't cook to save my life. So now dinner, the meal I used to love, now has turned into the nighttime dinner chore. Since my cooking abilities are non-existent, my fa fabulous dinner time meals have turned into a repetitive, mundane rotation of the same meal. Dinner now consists of chicken, rice, corn, or tacos. The best part of the dinner meals is the simplicity of the cooking process. Chicken goes into the oven for about 20 minutes on 350 degrees, and the rice and corn can be put in the microwave. Now, if I'm having my taco dinner, then things get a little more complicated where I actually have to cook the taco meat on the stove, but the corn and rice I eat with my taco dinner can be put into the microwave. As I've mentioned before, I can't cook dinner. And from a recent experience, it appears that I can't microwave dinner either. My dinner option for that night was chicken with corn and chicken flavored rice. Now I could have cooked the rice on the stove top for dinner, but I was being a little lazy that night and decided to take the easy way out and throw the rice in the microwave. To my common knowledge, the most Tupperware microwavable containers should be microwavable, right? Wrong. The rice instructions for a microwave said to put the rice and water combination in a minute, take it out, stir it, then put it in for a minute and a half and stir again. Well, when I took the rice out of the second time to stir, the Tupperware container melted a hole in the middle of the container and the rice and water fell through the hole and made a mess. So dinner that night turned into a grilled chicken salad. Not the dinner I wanted that night, but I have a better solution for dinner now. And the answer is a microwavable bowl, courtesy of my grandmother. She is such a saint. Now dinner is back on the same rotation, except tonight I'm having leftover pasta. And here is Drew with the news. Hi, I'm Drew, this is the news, and I'm gonna give it to you as quickly as possible. Let's get started. Goldilocks burglar found asleep in elderly couple's bed. Students urge to urinate in the shower. I really hope that's not here. ISIS threatens to invade Rome and fly the flag over the Vatican. Man realizes he's one of the couple college friends falling out of touch. Police pleasantly surprised to learn the man was shot was actually armed. Guard and video game under strict orders to repeatedly pace the same stretch of hallway. I wonder how his family feels. Suspect chased through Chicago Marathon. Florida beach house built on wrong lot. Connecticut man accused of mopping aggressively. Emu co corralled after jumps through traffic. Illinois pet dubbed world's tallest cow. I ran out of pieces of paper, but there's still more talking. Voters excited to use midterms to put country back on different wrong track. Islamic war erupts in Hamburg, Germany. Newest US of Ah, uh, that's it. I'm done. Thanks for watching. Across America, Excess Food is gathered by a network of good people at local food banks, helping solve child hunger. They've earned their wings, and you can too. Support Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. Which planet are we living on? What do you think it would be like to teach? Chances are, you have no idea. Teachers today are breaking down obstacles, finding innovative ways to instill old lessons, proving that greatness can be found in everyday places, and that you don't need to be famous to be unforgettable. 
That's what it's like to teach. Yo, it's your boy D-Lang. Along with Dodie Fresh. And, uh, you know, last week we promised you guys that we'd, uh, we'd have our video uh, out for you this week. Yo, but unfortunately, it's not going to be up until next week. Yo, you see, the problem is, um, my boy, my boy Dodie Fresh and I, we got into a little bit of an, uh, an argument when we was uh, collabing in the, in the studio. Yeah. And yeah, and, um, you know, unfortunately, like, you know, that blew out of proportion, but, like, you know, we're good now. Yeah, we, we are good now, you know, we just, we, we didn't want you guys to think that, you know, we were just making excuses, because the video's coming next week, we promise, unless we argue again, but, you know, we brought you the security footage, so you guys can know that we're, we're for real, we, we ain't just, we ain't just, you know, flaking on you, so check out the footage right now. Check it out. Hey, Vibin, right now, look at you. You think you, you think you vibing, but you ain't vibing. I'm vibing, man. My balls are fire, son. Come on, kid. Come on, you. Oh, don't even insult my rapping ability. You're my home. But don't insult my rapping ability. Nick, you gotta, you gotta give me some dialogue here. I'm talking to nobody. I'm talking yo, to the listen, Lord. Yo, listen, man. Listen. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, listen. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. What you got? Yo, I'm sorry about that. You lied. You lying. You got nothing to say. It's your fake apologizing for. I'm apologizing for. Um, <laughs> Tell me, come on, what are you about? I'm apologizing for killing your vibe, man. All right. All right. What else? And that, uh, and kill, kill your, killing your bars, man. Killing my bars? You know what you just said? You're saying that your bars murder my bar, my bars. Are you really vibing? You know what vibing means? I don't yeah. think you know what vibing means. Mm. I'm just saying, you know, these people out here, they want the truth. You're saying your bars are better than my bars? No. I'm That's what you that. just said. I'm sorry. Don't I'm, say I'm, it. I'm sorry for criticizing your bars, man. So what, so, who's, so what would you say about the bars, you know? My bars are good? Yeah. 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 What would you say? Like, are, are our bars, like, equal? Yes. You think? I yeah. think so, too. Yes. You know, but if you, if you, if you, you know, start insulting my bars, I gotta, you know, spit that fire and I gotta let you know who's in charge. Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another edition of Dealing with Dave. You get a round of applause from the audience. Yeah. Yeah. I love them. Okay. All right. So, uh, the past few shows, we've been doing kind of like competition style stuff I guess you could say we have the tissue uh, races um, and now this week we are going to do something called name that video um, basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna play a short clip of a video from YouTube you know one of the many videos that um, I watch in my spare time and um, my lovely panel here is going to look at a list of four possible choices and then answer what they think the correct title for the video is um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to introduce my, my panel as usual. So I'm going to go down the line here. Can you guys just say your name? Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm Aaron. I'm Pat. All right, so we have Nathan, Aaron, and Pat here on the show today. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. This is your first video here, guys. Like I said, you're going to watch a few seconds of it. You're going to see the list of possible answers. Tell me what you think the answer is, and then I'll let you know if you were right. Let's give it a shot. Friends of karaoke, dancing man wearing a horse mask, cooks wild mushrooms, uh, or dancing man finds surprise under a pile of leaves when looking for mushrooms. I want what do you guys think, Nate? I want a, B, C, or D? A. Friends of karaoke? Yeah. All right. I'm thinking D. If I'm surprised, he's pretty happy. Dancing oh, man finds that. surprise under a pile of leaves. All right, Pat. I'm what pretty you sure it's C. Uh. <laughs> okay, can we please show you guys the rest of the clip here that I, that I picked out? It's going to pop up in a second. You'll see the answer. I promise it'll show up. <laughs> what was that? Dancing man wearing a mask cooks wild mushrooms. So it was B. None of you got that one right. Oh, wow. oh man. I'm sorry. 
Hopefully you guys will have better luck for the next one. Okay, next video, please. <laughs> 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 was it A, ha, 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 B, ha, 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 in Spanish, C, hui, pua, wa, 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 or D, hu, 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 ha, ha, ha? I'm going to have to say D. I'm feeling a B, Spanish. Okay. Uh, I think C. Okay. So that one didn't, doesn't have anything after it because that was literally the whole video. Um, so <laughs> the correct answer to that one was, in fact, C. So... Pat is in the lead with one, <laughs> and unfortunately, you guys still got the goose egg. Yeah. Right. Um, hopefully, you guys can pick it up with this last one. Um, this is the final video. Let's give it a shot here. Um, there we go. Pickening is nothing. Spread sandwich spread. Clap the ham nutty, please. Did I say ham? Okay. Oh. Apparently. Oh, I guess the choices run behind it. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you the choices because I know them in my head. Answer number A. Answer number A. <laughs> Letter A. Pickle surprise. B. Ookie cookie. C. Weird ham commercial? <laughs> Question mark. Or D, strawberry shortcut. What are you thinking, Nate? I'm going to have to say A. Pickle surprise? Yep. What are you thinking? Uh, I'm going wild card here. D, strawberry shortcut. <laughs> strawberry shortcut. Okay, Pat, what are you thinking? I don't know what that's supposed to be, <laughs> but I think it was C, weird ham commercial. <laughs> I'm glad that you kept the question mark in there. Um, okay, so we have A, we have D, and we have C. Um, now, the correct answer was, in fact, A, pickle surprise. So Nate yes. gets the third, the third one right, but unfortunately, we have a tie between Nate and Pat here. Um, fight to the death. Fight, <laughs> fight to the death. Tell you what, on next week's show, we'll have you guys come and battle it out in the studio. Okay? All right. That sound good? All right, okay. so we're going to end with a tie with Nate and Pat. I know, I'm, I know it's really anticlimactic. I'm sorry, Aaron. <laughs> um, Hank, I call Aaron Hank a lot. Hank Aaron. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Better luck next time, I guess. Um, but for now, Pat and Nate are the YouTube video champions. Can we get a round of applause? <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Thanks for coming in, guys. I really appreciate it. That's it for me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's edition of Dealing with Dave. Please. Yeah. Gotta love them. <laughs> Please enjoy the rest of the parliament. You make me wear my bike helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. And to follow the swimming rules. You tell me to stay away from drugs. To always buckle my seatbelt. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Remember, always lock it up. Visit ncpc.org.
hi everybody. And yes, let's get another round of applause. Yeah, there we go. You, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. All right, this is another segment of Whip City Sports. I am Mike Drew. I'm sitting here with my trusty colleague Nick Odell. Hi, oh, Nick. Mike, how's it going? Oh, it's fine and dandy. We are here for another uh, sports segment, as I just said. So today we're going to change things up a little bit, though. We're going to talk about fantasy football. So, Nick, how many fantasy leagues are you in currently? I am in three fantasy leagues, believe it or not. I have you one up. I'm in four. And it, no, is, it, is, it is a commitment, is it not? It is. I mean, this is pretty time-consuming. You have to pay attention a lot during the week to set your lineups before Sunday. It is, it is very... Uh, it is a commitment, Mike, and uh, you know. But hey, let's uh, let's get right to it. All right. So what we're gonna do, <laughs> keep me on track. Thank you. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you three players you should start this week and three players you should sit and banish and keep you out of your lineups. Nick's gonna give you the sitems. I'm gonna give you the stardoms, if you will. So Nick, let's start with you. One player you would not start in your fantasy lineup this week is who? Well, let me just go on record right now and say first of all that all three of my sitems are on my fantasy team. Yes, okay, so, th so this is authentic. Team. This yeah, is not yeah, made so up is, in any way. This is authentic. So my first sit -em would be a quarterback would be the Atlanta Falcons quarterback, Matt Ryan. Okay, why is that? Matt Ryan, because A, he's horrible on the road. Um, he averages 14 fantasy points a game in states other than Georgia. You know, that's on the road. <laughs> that, and that, 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 that is quite a fact for you to just throw into this. Hey, you know, um, but I, I can I, always rely on you for trustworthy done, bits of information done, such as that. I've done my research. And also, he has a banged up offensive line, and they're going up against a lights out Ravens defense. I don't know that I'd say lights out, but the Atlanta offense has not been what many thought it would be this year. So, okay, I, I, I can go along with that. You, you, haven't, you haven't drawn my ire yet. Okay. okay, one player I would start this week, and uh, actually, you'd have to start him tonight because the Patriots are playing Thursday Night Football, Shane Vereen. Everybody knows about the Stephen Ridley injury that happened last weekend. Patriots without their number one running back. Vereen going to get a lot more touches, even tonight, against a Jet defense that historically has kept him down. Start Shane Vereen. Nick, who else do you sit? I would have to go with the Tennessee running back, Bishop Sankey. I mean, you know, no, nobody, in this pro like, nobody in this audience has probably heard about that Tennessee running back. But, uh, yes, he plays for the Tennessee Titans, and... Uh, you know the reason why I want to like the reason why you know people should sh sh should sit him is uh, because he faces a Washington Redskins run defense that's pr that's pretty decent. And it's about uh, the only thing they have going for him, but yeah, yeah sure, yeah, all right, we'll yeah. give him that. Um, and uh, you know, and just a little bit of a funny thing. Whenever I put him in my starting lineup, he doesn't he like you know he simply doesn't perform. Like I had him last week starting. And he just did nothing for me for my fantasy team. Pretty amazing, isn't it, that he was the first running back taken in the draft? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty amazing. But um, And uh, just one final stat about him. Just one carry made on, well, you know, made on an opponent 10-yard line, all, made inside an opponent 10-yard line all season. I think this is the most attention Bishop Sankey has ever gotten in his life. So we're <laughs> yeah. going to move on from Bishop Sankey. I'm going to give you another player who you should start this week. It's another running back, Mark Ingram for the New Orleans Saints, making his return from injury this week. He had been having a career best year, then he got hurt a couple of weeks ago. He's been out ever since. Kyrie Robinson has taken the lead back role there in New Orleans. He's done a decent job with it, Nick, but Mark Ingram was getting a lot of touches near the goal line, and obviously that is pretty trustworthy for you as a fantasy owner if he's down there at the goal line getting you cheap touchdowns. I would start Mark Ingram this week, even against the good defensive front of Detroit with Ndamukong Sue and the rest. Mark Ingram, good play this week. Nick? Last person you would keep out. My last person is, you know, he 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 did he did great in previous years for San Francisco in their run, but I would have to say the San Francisco or the wide receiver from the San Francisco 49ers, uh, Michael Crabtree. Really? Yes, Michael. Really? Michael Crabtree. Uh, here's an like you know, here's an interesting stat. He is yet to I'm reach waiting. five. Man, he's yet to reach five fantasy points. Um, yeah, um, yeah, he's yet to reach five fantasy points this year. Um, in any week, in any week, he's yet to get five. Like you know, but like, you know, without the help of a touchdown. So like basically five fantasy points with, without the help of a touchdown this year. If you asked a certain corner in Seattle, he would tell you a few things about Michael Crabtree. Yes. But we can't say those here because this is Westfield, Massachusetts. Yes, and also. So, oh, go ahead, Nick. Yes, and also he's one of my. Um, he's on one of my fantasy teams. He's not doing well, and you know, and then one last stat about him. Like, the San Francisco 49ers are playing the Denver Broncos this week, so that's enough said there. Like Denver's been a pretty good pass defense. Yes. He keeps the lead addition, has helped yep. him quite a bit. Okay, 
Last player you should start, I'm going to give you a wide receiver this time as well from the Cincinnati Bengals, Mohamed Sanu. And he is replacing, of course, the injured A.J. Green, who was out last week. He's going to be out again this week. They're playing in Indianapolis. Sanu gives you double value because not only is he now the team's number one receiver, he also, Nick, has been the uh, the prototype quarterback a little bit here in, in uh, some plays that the Bengals have run. I think back to the touchdown he completed to Andy Dalton a couple of weeks ago. Sanu did a lot of that in college at Rutgers. He's a multi-purpose player. That can really result in the accumulation of a lot of points for you on Fantasy Sundays. Okay, we are just about done, but I'm going to give you one last player. I'm going bonus round here. Bonus round, I'm giving you one last guy you should start in your fantasy lineups this week. That's Nick Odell. Anytime there is an eating competition of any sort, you need to make sure that you start a fantasy league and you draft this guy number one. I'm just saying, (laughs) Nick Odell this weekend is bound to eat something that is just absurd out of this world, and if you don't start him, you're not going to win. So you need to draft Nick Odell, and that'll bring you prosperity in your fantasy eating leagues. Joey Chestnut, I think of you. Okay, we're done. That's Nick. That's Mike. We really got to get out of here. So thank you for watching the Parliament. We hope you join us next time, and uh, please go set your fantasy lineups. And that's about it. If I can get a round of applause here from the audience. They liked the show. They liked the show. We liked bringing it to you, but we got to go before we lose our careers. So that's done. That's Nick. I'm Mike. Good night. Thanks for watching, everybody.